screenplay, which I wanted to be published into a movie or a play. So I go by the Guthrie Theater and I tell them that I wrote a screenplay called Return of the Living Dead Fetuses, which is about a girl who gives herself an abortion by sticking a coat hanger up her twat. And then a minister at a, from a Baptist church finds out in which he performs an exorcism at the scene of abortion, in which he then goes into a trance and jerks off on the remains of the aborted fetus. After I describe my screenplay, they tell me that they are not inter interested in producing my screenplay into a play, and all this was going on at the same time while the Little House on the Prairie play was going on. So I told them that, that in my previous lifetime, I was Laura Ingalls Wilder, and I told them that I couldn't afford to see the play, and I asked them that they'd be willing to give me a free ticket to, so I could see the show. And they refused to give me a free ticket. Um, those uptight theaters, I'm so sick and tired of these mo motherfuckers with a stick up their ass and their fucking bullshit. I couldn't find a single theater that would produce my screenplay, and someone told me that if I lived in Los Angeles, I would have a good chance of getting it published, so I said, fuck this shit, I'm moving to Los Angeles. So I go online to look at the rents, and the rents are in apartments are over $2,000 a month and up. Those greedy, money-grubbing, scumfuck landlords, I can't take this fucking shit anymore. I then found out, about, found out that Sheldon Cooper was looking for a roommate, but I would be living with three other guys, but at least the rent would be reasonable. So I take, and, and they also told me I could take, he told me I could take my cat with. The problem is I don't get along with people very good, and things turn to shit very quickly, and I thought Sheldon would work out good because he has Asperger's Syndrome, and not only that, they made a TV show about him called Big Bang Theory. Well, what happened is I was smelling my cat's ears at, at the same end of the couch that he likes to eat his breakfast, and at the same time that he eats his breakfast, and, 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 and I told him that I really enjoy it when a bunch of brown stuff gets on my nose from the cat's ears, and he called me a weirdo. And then I lost my temper, and I got into a big fight, and then he threw me out, and then I figured out, and I had to deal with, where the fuck am I going to live now? It, it turns out that Penny, the girl who lived across the hall, moved out, and they decided to convert her apartment into Section 8, and I was able to move in there. What happened is Penny decided to drop a few hits of acid, and then Gigi Allen appeared, and he said, I would love to have a ball movement on you, baby. So she rubbed her excrement all over herself and the walls of her apartment while she masturbated. And then, and then the landlord came in and she was evicted for having shit smeared all over her, apart, her apartment. When I came in there I, 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 to look at the apartment, I told them that it smells like shit in here. And they told me, don't worry, we'll fumigate it and sanitize it before you move in. I was so happy I found my own apartment in Los Angeles with affordable rent. Um, Sheldon apologized for the way he treated me, and he admitted that he has plenty of habits that are very quirky and would drive people crazy. Like, he, like for one thing, he likes to keep blocks of his bowel movements. And I showed Sheldon my spoken words, and he just absolutely loved them, and he loved my Return of the Living Dead Fetus story. And I told him that someone told me that in Los Angeles I have a very good chance of getting that screenplay made into a theatrical production. And he told me that whoever told me that told me, told me a bunch of fucking bullshit. He told me that they are having a contest for the most vulgar but creative writer in New York at the same time that he would be attending the Star Trek convention. And I said, there's not a place in New York that I could afford to stay. And he told me that he knows a guy and his name is Mike Stivett. And he lives out in Queens, and he told me that I could stay with him. But he ain't sure if things would work out very well with his father-in-law. And as you know that New York is a very liberal city, and during the last presidential election, um, there was only one person who voted for Donald Trump, and that person was Archie Bunker. When I get there, Archie Bunker asked me, what brings you, what brings you to New York? And I told him, that the contest is going on for the most vulgar but creative writer, and I told him about my Return of the Living Dead Fetuses play, and I told him about the girl who gives herself an abortion by sticking a coat hanger up her twat on a minister, performs an exorcism at the scene of the abortion, and he jerks off on the remains of the aborted fetus, and Archie went fucking ape. She said, you're a sick weirdo. This is a Christian home that believes in family values. Get the fuck out of my house. Archie then went on to call me a sick fuck. Edith, his wife, then said, Pat, I need to talk to you. And Edith said, please don't talk about abortions and joking off on avoided fetuses in front of Archie. And I said, fuck this shit. I give them my freedom of speech and, and my freedom of speech. And Edith said, Archie could have to throw you out. 
And you know how expensive it is here in New York. Um, I, want, I want to see you get your Spoik and Voids published. And if that's not all, Sheldon then, Archie Bunker called, caused Sheldon to get so much anxiety, it caused him to end up getting diarrhea, and he kept talking about his diarrhea. And, it, and, it, and he mentioned that his diarrhea had yellow ribbons floating on it with, with bubbles in the middle of it. And the meathead said, Archie, Pat and Sheldon are on the autism spectrum. And they will say things at times that are inappropriate. Now, what's your excuse, Archie? Well, I then got my Return of the Living Dead Fetuses story published, and I got paid millions of dollars for it, and I am so happy. 